This sketch is all about the vasculature of the pelvis, specifically the branches of the external and internal iliac arteries. And we'll be covering those details here at this iliac house party. Word of warning, things are about to get <laughs> wacky. With that said, let's review the pathway of the arteries going to the pelvis. The abdominal aorta bifurcates into the right and left common iliac arteries at the level of the L4 vertebrae. The people in this common line waiting to enter our ill party represent the common iliac artery. The common iliac artery runs infralaterally, which means down and to the side, towards the pelvic brim. It divides into the external and internal iliac arteries just anterior to the sacroiliac joint. Now that this line has split, let's follow a few patrons into their respective locales. We'll start by observing the partygoers that didn't think a house could contain their energy and decided to park themselves at the exterior of the house, a perfect place to discuss the branches of the external iliac artery, which runs antero-inferiorly and laterally to supply the lower limbs. And look who we have here, the roisterer of the bunch, who is sporting these red suspenders, which symbolize the inferior epigastric artery. The first branch of the external iliac. The inferior epigastric supplies the structures of the anterior abdominal wall. It runs obliquely and superiorly to eventually anastomose with the superior epigastric artery. Remember, the inferior epigastrics are an important anatomic landmark for differentiating between direct and indirect inguinal hernias. Watch our inguinal canal sketch to learn more. In addition to his fashionable suspenders, this guy's circular hula hoop should remind you of the deep circumflex iliac artery, the second branch of the external iliac we'll talk about. It runs towards the anterior superior iliac spine and feeds the lower anterior abdominal wall and iliac crest. Once the external iliac artery passes underneath the inguinal ligament, it becomes the femoral artery. This can be remembered by our partygoer limboing below this inguinal rope, which is connected by femur poles on each side. The inguinal ligament is a key anatomic landmark for arterial puncture and catheterization. Arterial puncture above the inguinal ligament increases the risk for retroperitoneal hematoma, or spilling Bloody Mary everywhere. Either way, not fun. All right. Seems like this guy's gotten things taken care of outside, so let's head inside to talk about the internal iliac artery. Heads up, the branching pattern of the internal iliac artery is variable, meaning that branches may come directly off a branch rather than the internal iliac artery. However, for our purposes here, we'll be going through the branches as they're described in most anatomy textbooks. The interior of this house will be used to symbolize the two divisions of the internal iliac artery. We'll begin in the living room, which is in the back, to talk about the branches of the posterior division. First is the iliolumbar artery. It travels toward the iliac fossa to supply the ilium and iliacus. It also feeds the structures in the lumbar region, which include the psoas major, quadratus lumborum, and erector spinae muscles. We've drawn in this lumbar pillow on this pelvic bone chair to remind you that the iliolumbar artery supplies the bones of the pelvis. Next is the lateral sacral artery, represented here by this ladder that leads into a separate loft where sacred events take place, from what I'm told. Anyway, the lateral sacral artery runs inferiorly near the roots of the sacral plexus. It then splits into superior and inferior branches, which supply the corresponding sacral foramina. And finally, we have the superior gluteal artery, which supplies the gluteal muscles. It leaves the pelvis through the greater sciatic foramen above the piriformis muscle. This kid is sitting atop a piriformis beanbag chair with his glutes high up in the air to remind you that the superior gluteal artery travels above the piriformis and supplies the gluteal muscles. 